Hey everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, my dudes. You know what that means. My favorite day of the week. Time for Web Dev Wednesday. So this week we are talking about a new data type in JavaScript and it is called an object. And you will see here, uh, this is here on the left, the anatomy of an object. So like we have been doing, you declare a variable, you can name your object, whatever you want, equal sign. And then whereas with an array, we did the square bar brackets with an object, we're going to do the curly braces here. And then within those curly braces are all of the properties and methods of this object. So what does that mean? So a property is just basically something that belongs to this object and they come in key value pairs. And this can be whatever you want. So say the object was person, it'd be name equals and then whatever the value of the name of that object is, um, address, and then whatever the value of the address is, and so on. And then um, a property that's a function actually is called a method. So an object method is just a function that belongs to that object. So to continue with the person example, a method might be to walk or to drive, whatever, something, some action, whereas the properties are more descriptive. And then in our JavaScript code, when we are referring to the properties and methods in an object, this is the notation that we use over here on the right. So you'd call it by the object name and then the name of the property you are accessing. So with our person example, it would be person dot name. And then the output would be whatever the value of that property is. And when you were trying to call a method that belongs to an object, you again, refer to it with the name of the object dot and then whatever the method is called with those parentheses the same way you would call a function. As always, this is going to make a lot more sense once we get into the code. So very similar to what we have been working on, just a page in the browser, some buttons and there will be a box that appears. Right now our buttons don't do anything, but we are going to remedy that in our JavaScript. So um, a couple styles just to make it look okay, um, giving some dimension to our box, which is just a div down here with the ID of box and a couple of preliminary styles I added. And then all the buttons with their on click calling functions that I've already gone ahead and named. And we are going to write those functions. But first, we need to create our object. So this box is just referring to that element. So when we are changing the properties of it, we're going to use that. But we need to declare an object. Let's call it details equal sign and our curly braces. So a couple properties we want to describe with this box are going to be color. And we can just set a default to red. Um, we'll have one called name. Let's just set it to box. And then um, this magic trick button down here. When you click it, I want it to run a function that just removes the box. So first we need to make it appear up here. So the reveal shape button is going to be pretty simple here. We're just going to write a function for reveal shape, which we're already calling with the on click of that button. And we want box style display, no, visibility to be set to visible. So if we save this and refresh, we click reveal shape, a box comes up that we had already styled. So it's just turning the visibility on. So this magic trick button is going to be make it poof disappear. So we will use a method within details. Let's call it disappear. And again, we just declared this is going to be a function. And here it is. I'm going to end put a semicolon after details because when you similar to just when you declare any other variable, you're going to end it in JavaScript with a semicolon. So but this one here goes with our function, which is our method. Remember a function inside an object is just called method. Um, and when we run disappear, we're going to have box style visibility set to hidden should work. Let's check. Reveal shape. Magic trick I might need to do. Oh, haha. -ha. 
what I need to do is write the function for the magic trick button. <laughs> we were clicking it, but it, remember it has this on click of magic trick as a function. We haven't written this function yet. Okay, so function magic trick. We're gonna get our details object and call the disappear method. So now, okay, it works, hooray. So we have our object. Let's write one more function here. Actually, we're gonna do two. For reveal color, it's gonna be box style background equals, and then we're going to reference our object. Details.color. If we save this and refresh, we reveal our shape, we reveal our color, and we can make it disappear. So one more reveal name. When we click the reveal name button, we will change the inner HTML of our box element to details.name to reference this property of this object. So if we refresh, we can reveal the shape, reveal the color, and reveal the name we gave it and we can make it disappear. Just to make this a little more fun, when you click the reveal color, let's actually set details color to whatever the user enters. We'll ask the user, what's your favorite color? And then whatever color they say will be set to this. So this is to demonstrate that you can alter the properties of your object just by, as you would expect, you target the object, the property you want to change, and then, you know, you could just make this something, but we're gonna, we're gonna ask for some input from the user. So it's gonna ask, what's your favorite color? I'm gonna tell it purple. Oh, detail color. Having a hard time typing today. So now it's gonna ask me what my favorite color is and actually listen to me and make that the background. We can do the same thing for name. So we'll have details name set to the answer to this prompt. What's your name? Save, refresh, we'll reveal our shape. Uh, now my favorite color is green and now my name is Joe. And whatever we enter, it's going to put there. This is just sort of an introduction to what an object is, how we can access the properties and methods in here and use them in some JavaScript code. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. And thank you for your feedback. So if you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions for different topics I should cover, let me know down in the comments. If you notice I made a mistake or something, go ahead, let me know in the comments too. I'm always looking to improve and offer value. So if this is not your learning style, maybe give me some tips on how I can help, things like that. But anyway, I've talked enough. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Remember, I post new videos every Wednesday, so I will see you all next week.